Hello, my name is Jakai. Welcome to my beautiful world of Hongare. This is our library down there. We got all the cool books, even Batman and all of them. But now I'm gonna sing my song I made up. Three, two, one, go. I want a big Pomada boy, so flippin' bad. But I love the work I never had. I want to be on the cover of Pomada magazine. Smiling at the cell of the queen, cell of the queen. Now every time I... Once upon a time, there was a community filled with fun and games. That community is called Pomari. That's until the bulldozers came and took their houses, their pride and joy. The families and friends had no power and all they could do was to stand in awe and watch as the houses came tumbling down. We were never asked what we thought. Welcome to Campbell Live. My name is John Campbell, your host, and as we today, we concentrate on the alcohol consumption and how it's affecting children in our community today. We've got a letter sent here from a poor mighty kid, anonymous. They do not want to reveal their name. This kid sent this letter to Mr. Key straight to his officers saying how problems in his community involve alcohol. John Key sent it over to me with a message saying, Dear Campbell, hope you show this life. Proof to people alcohol is a problem and yes, we are trying to do something about it. To all those people affected, Kia Kaha, Kia Maya, yours truly, John Key. Thank you very much. A letter from an anonymous kid in Pomari. Ladies and gentlemen, and now we come over to two special guests from Pomari. Here to talk about alcohol consumption in Aotearoa. Come in, guys. This is a hard question you guys had to really, really think deeply about. If you could change anything to do about alcohol, one thing, one thing to change about alcohol, what would it be and why? Banned all alcohol shops in New Zealand can be healthy. -er. Only a certain amount of beer. <laughs> Let me think. Let me say one or two beers, not every night, just on birthdays and Christmas parties. So it's just special occasions, mate? But never on a Sunday because you, you've got to take your kids to school on Monday. Alright, thank you very much, Jeff and Randy, for coming into Campbell Live and having your voices heard. They are very loud. How did you feel when you moved? It's pretty dark because you had to leave the community, friends, family. Yep. What would make Pomare an even better place for kids to live? More houses. What is the best thing about living in Pomare? My family and friends. What would make Pomare an even better place for kids to live? More houses for families. What would make Pomare an even better place for kids to live? have more parks and other um, stuff. Do you think kids should decide what happens to poor Mare in the future? Yes. What makes you so special on poor Mare? Well, I have friends and family there and everyone has like one big family to sit together. Yep. Looks like a good place to have a beer. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Show me your ID. <coughs> Where's your ID, little man? Look at what I Look, I show me things. More beer. Police. 
We need to get her, but we're too drugged. Ah, it's okay. Just try the thing. Okay, but I warned you. Whoa, whoa.